सभी को मेरा नमस्कार और स्वागत हूँ हमारा टॉपिक्स करने से पहले हम भगवान को प्रार्थना करेंगे कि सभी का स्वास्थ्य अच्छा रहे और सब खुश में रहे और हमारा पृथ्वी हरियाली होकर रहे ओम Just if you see here, suppose this is my hand, 
and it is connected with the body. Suppose I am forming this angle. So this is one type of angle. This is another angle. This is another angle. Like this manner you can make many angles. So the angles are of different types. So but every angle has two sides and one vertex and how you will name it? Naming of angle. Naming of an angle. How do you name it? First you start from the end point of one line segment and where the angle is found that will be in between the two points. So you can name it as A O B angle. Or the same thing you can name also B O A. Or you can tell as O angle. Angle. So you can name the angle in three different ways. Either you can write A O B means it is angle A. Similar angle B O A B O A or angle O. So this is about your naming of an angle. Now we will read types of angles. Types of angles. So first we will read acute angle. Acute angle. Acute angle. So suppose I have shown you this divider. You see here the angle, this angle is known as one acute angle. Acute angle means an angle whose measure is greater than zero degree. Greater than zero degree, but less than ninety degree is known as an acute angle. So this is the definition of acute angle. So this angle is acute angle because if you measure you can see this is the geometrical instrument protector so it, by the help of protector this is you see the protector it has the measurement 0 to 180 degree from this side also 0 to 180 degree so you can measure the angle suppose you want to measure how to measure you see here this is the vertex so this point should meet exactly with this point and this line should meet or coincide with this line. So you see here 0 degree, 10, 20, 30, 40, just less than 40, it is 39. So this angle is 39 degrees. Always the angle is measured in degrees, that is 39 degrees. So what I have told here, an angle which measure is greater than 0, 0 se jara mana hai, but less than 90 degree is not an acute angle. So this is all about your acute angle. Okay, next second is your obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. An angle an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is known as Obtuse angle. So an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is known as obtuse angle. So I am drawing one angle. You see.
60 degrees. So this is your complete angle. So these are all about the complete angles. That is the acute angle, right angle, obvious angle, straight angle and complete angle. So you can see here, we can do a um, activity. Suppose for these angles. And you see that these are in, in increasing order. Acute means you see here, this is acute angle. Okay, because it is the main formula is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree. Greater than 0 degree, less than 90 degree. Right angle means that exactly 90 degree. Obtuse means greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. Straight angle means exactly 180 degree. A exactly 360 degrees. So this is in increasing order. You see increasing order all these angles. So you can do this activity. Suppose you can rotate this. This now is from what? Acute angle. Suppose is ko padate. So now you will get a right angle. This is your right angle. Now our padate will get obtuse angle. Then right is your straight angle. But again this total is the complete angle. So these are all about the different types of angles. Or you can see the doors also. In you can do yourself or you can make yourself with the doors the different angles. This is all about your angles. Now we will read about the relation of angles. How the angles are complementary and how the angles are supplementary. So complementary angles, you see the definitions. If the sum of the two angles, if the sum of two angles are 90 degrees, then one is called the complement of the other. Complement of the other. For, for an example, suppose you see here, example, 30 degree and 60 degree. You see here, sum. Sum of angles is equal to 30 degree plus 60 degree is 90 degree. Therefore, we can say complement of complement of 30 degree is equal to 90 minus 30. That is 60 degree. And both 30 and 60, 30 degree and 60 degree are complementary angles. Complementary angles. This is our complement. If the sum of two angles is 90 degree, then each is called the complement of the other. You will get questions in your examination. Suppose you want to find out the complement of 30 degree. So what do you have to do? 90 minus 30 is 60 degree. So 60 degree is the complement of other angle. Similarly, next is your supplementary angle. If the sum of two angles are 180 degree then one is called the supplementary angles of other supplementary angles of other For example, suppose if you are doing one example, you see here, suppose there are two angles, 
cut with two angles. Suppose one is 120 degree, other is 60 degree. So sum is equal to 120 degree plus 60 degree. So what about 180 degree? Therefore, they are supplementary angle. This is one type of question. Supplementary angle. Suppose another question. Find supplementary angles of supplementary angles of 75 degrees. Okay. So what you will do? 180 minus 75. So 5 then 0 100. So 105 is the supplementary of supplementary of 75. So this is all about the complementary angles and the supplementary angles. You can practice more and more. Thank you.